going on guys? Uh, it's Mountaineer Mitch here bringing you a post game video because after I do the pre game video I didn't forget but uh, I knew I had to get it out and everything just kept on coming. The Thanksgiving and all that and a very long week. Very long exhausting week but I'm glad West Virginia finished it off with a win. Pretty happy for me. All I'm going to do tomorrow is just relax and chill. Probably eat some uh, leftovers from Thanksgiving. Some more leftovers. Uh, but yeah I mean I'm Pretty happy about West Virginia winning, you know. Played a really balanced ball game. Um, Iowa State, um, pretty good team. Uh, Red shirt freshman Richardson, he's going to be a pretty good quarterback in the future. So I look forward to playing them more and more as the road go, or more and more as the uh, seasons go on here in the Big 12. And I hope that uh, he develops into a young, good quarterback. And I mean, I always enjoy the challenges, even if West Virginia does lose. I hope they don't ever lose five straight again. I think Holgerson will get his boys ready and hopefully have it done. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, defensive-wise, I mean, they they did a pretty good job. And, and I like to say that you can't really judge the quarterback on how good he was compared to how bad the defense is. You really can't compare the defense of how good they was compared to the redshirt freshman quarterback because there was both mistakes on both sides of the ball. The big mistakes was West Virginia giving it up and giving or giving up the big plays and also giving up the penalties there at the end. And uh, I, I'm glad that the running back actually fumbled the ball. Now, he only had one hand on it, and uh, West Virginia stripped it out of there and got the uh, fumble recovery and pretty much just drove down the field. And, or not really drove down the field, but just take a couple knees and end the game. Um, but, yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, West Virginia did a good job in the first half running uh, three pretty good running backs. So Sean Alstead, he's been out so many weeks with a, a deep uh, thigh bruise, you know, and uh, Andrew Bowie's been there all year running his heart out. And uh, Tavon also, we just now put him in the backfield, but uh, he plays wide receiver and stuff like that. And he's one heck of a, he's one heck of an all-around talent. And I look for, forward to him playing on Sundays because uh, he's actually got that talent that uh, a lot of people don't have. Got that breakaway speed, and I know that a lot of people say, "Oh, in the NFL, everybody's got the same amount of speed." But uh, he's actually got a de definitely an extra gear when it comes in the stop and go and uh, hit that cut back and stuff like that. So I look forward to watching him play. In the near in the futures, you know, but uh, I'm not getting too far ahead because I know that Kansas is coming up, and uh, Kansas is the worst team in the Big 12. But you can't count Kansas out. There's no way because they could come on there and play their heart out, you know. So um, yeah, guys, I mean that's really about it. I'm glad West Virginia won. But um, yep, hit the subscribe button. If you like what I'm doing? Uh, follow me on Twitter. Twitter uh, link will be down in the description below. That's really about it, guys. Um, I see you on December first. Uh, West Virginia don't play this Saturday or next Saturday. Obviously, they don't play this Saturday because they played uh, today. But um, they don't play next Saturday either. I might cover a football game. It depends. Uh, if you uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, send me some Twitter suggestions on what team you'd like for me to follow. Might do a Big Twelve game. Might just do like uh, Notre Dame or no, what whatever games that are on that Saturday. But um, yeah, whatever it is, it's uh, really about it, guys. Uh, Mountaineer Mitch signing out. Peace.